Hello and welcome to Church Tech Tips. I'm Michael. I wanted to make this video about ProPresenter because while ProPresenter is a very powerful tool, it can take quite some time and expertise to use it to the fullest. I certainly don't claim to use this software to the fullest, but what I have found is that learning things from other people that use the software and learning things from them and their workflows can be very useful. If you have some of your own tips and tricks for ProPresenter 7, feel free to post those in the comments or over on the official ProPresenter users group on Facebook. I'll link that in the description. Today I'll be sharing how at my church we use ProPresenter to control our lighting software. At my church we use a software called QLC+. I really like this software because it's free and open source, so it's a great entryway into using a computer for controlling DMX-based lights rather than an analog console. My church personally made the switch to QLC+, because our analog console was on its last leg, so uh, we were kind of forced into it, but we've never gone back, and I've really enjoyed it. ProPresenter also works really well with LightKey and other lighting applications, but I really like QLC+. It's a really economic solution for churches that are just kind of getting their toes wet in using ProPresenter to control their lights, but also in, again, computer-based lighting. The only financial commitment you really need to make is a DMX to USB adapter and a couple MIDI to USB adapters and some MIDI couplers. We're gonna begin by downloading and installing QLC+. Then we're gonna set up the fixtures and that can be a bit of a time consuming process, but you mostly only have to do that once and then you don't have to worry about it anymore. To download QLC, I just Google search QLC+, and it's the first one that comes up. Let's go ahead and click that and download. Choose your operating system of choice. I personally am on Windows. Going to save and go ahead and run that installer. Windows is gonna say that it protected your PC, but this is a safe application, so we are going to run it anyway. And agree, and we'll move forward with installation. First, let's add the fixtures. Once you've done that, you need to head to the Inputs and Outputs tab and select your DMX to USB adapter. I'm using the DMX USB Pro Mark II. Check the output box, and you should be ready to start moving some faders around and testing your lights. I'll link a more in-depth tutorial on QLC Plus first time setup in the description of this video. Once you're all set up with your fixtures and USB devices, it's time to make a scene. Get your faders into a position that works for your environment, and click the New Function button in the top right corner of your screen. Give your scene a name, and I recommend checking the box at the bottom that says Dump only non-zero values for each scene. This will allow you to have multiple scenes up at once without them getting in each other's way. Click OK, and you now have your first scene. You can view this scene in the Function tab under Scene. With that complete, head over to the Virtual Console tab and create a new button. Double-click that button and click the Attach a Function to this button. The list of scenes will appear and you can select the scene that you made. Click OK a couple of times and you've just made a button that's linked to your scene. Now we need to add a MIDI device. Connect a USB to MIDI adapter to your computer and go back to the I.O. tab. Find your MIDI device in the list and check the input box. Then head to the Profile tab and check the box for Generic MIDI. Go back to your Virtual Console and double-click the button that you made. This time, under External Input, click Choose and scroll all the way down to 129. These are the actual MIDI notes that ProPresenter will recognize. Select 129, or C-1, click OK, and we're done with QLC for now. Now head over to your ProPresenter machine and connect another USB to MIDI adapter to it. Connect the in to the lighting computer's out and vice versa. Install any drivers your MIDI device may need. In ProPresenter, open Preferences and then Devices. Add a new device and select MIDI. Add your device from the list and close the preference window. Now add a macro and add action, Q, 
communication MIDI MIDI note on. In this case, C0 will correspond with C-1 we set up in QLC. Select that and set the intensity to be anything higher than zero. Now clicking that macro should activate the lighting cue in QLC. You can now drag that macro to any slide in ProPresenter, like the beginning of a song, sermon, or anywhere else. I hope this video helps you. There are a lot of steps in this setup, but you really only have to do most of them once. There are a lot of different factors that could be different from your setup than mine if you have a Mac or a PC or which devices or drivers you may end up using, but feel free to post any of your questions in the comments or on the official ProPresenter community group on Facebook. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on Church Tech Tips.